So we were thinking, it's fun to do crossword puzzles, but how do you make one? So for me, the answer is always a spreadsheet. So I have a spreadsheet template, so you're going to go to the link and click make a copy. So you'll see in the template once your copy loads. Now this has no code in it. There's no code. It's simply just using a few spreadsheet techniques. So you'll see down here at the bottom that there are different tabs for you to click on to show you how to use the template. So you are going to want to use the template tab down here at the bottom. You see that I have a starter square. It has a black box around it. And you'd want to just put in your first letters. Now I'm going to use capitals, not like it really matters. But the trick is parallel of gram. Right? You want one letter per box. And then I'll put one Okay. Origin. I won't do too many of them, but you can get the gist is that I go ahead and get my words in there. So now that I've got all my words on there, I'm going to single click on this cell that has the box on it, and you're going to use the Format Painter. It's right up here in the toolbar. And so then if I actually just highlight all of those cells that I want to have a box around, I can see that the boxes are created around all the letters. Now, I'm going to single click on any one of them that has a box. And you can see that as long as I'm selecting back up here in the Format Painter, I am able to get that box to appear on it. But I am going to do more than one at a time. And then I single click on one, do the Format Painter, and I just get all of the words right in there that I want. Whoops, Control-Z is my best friend here. So what I did is I didn't have a single click when I clicked the Format Painter, and now Format Painter. So you can see that I've got my whole puzzle with the boxes. And then I want to come up to the view menu, come up to the view menu and choose grid lines. So we're going to turn those grid lines off. So I've got this, oops, I forgot one. And there we go. I Now I have a nice little puzzle there. And what I would do is I would take a screenshot. And what I'm going to do with this screenshot is put it into the background of a Google Jamboard jam. And so before I... So that's my answer key. If I take the screenshot now, it would be the answer key. So then I just go ahead. You see I highlight all of it. I'm going to control Z. I select on one cell and I highlight the entire puzzle and I hit the delete key to delete out the letters where now I'm just left with the puzzle itself. But I'm going to need to put numbers. One, two, three, four. I'm going to have to number where those first letters of each word is. Now I don't want them here in the center like that. I want them up in the upper left hand corner like up here in A1. So that's where the Format Painter comes in again. I'm going to click on this cell and then I'm going to click on the Format Painter. Click here, click on the Format Painter, click on the Format Painter, click on the Format Painter, and you can see that I now have a little letter in the upper left hand corner for each of the words. And now I can take a screenshot of this and add as a background to Google Jamboard to create a crossword puzzle.